strategic environmental assessment necessary for deployment of genetic product, biocontrol products, are these steps applicable? Our response is that uh, yes, it is necessary because uh, the SEA is going to become a, a national policy for the present and the future. It's also going to be part of the policy decision for the government, while the EIA and the ERA are both project-based. Yes, it is necessary. However, there are some certain concerns. Um, um, when you look at C and when you look at uh, environmental impact assessment and uh, um, environmental um, regulatory assessment, there are some areas that are going to be repetitive. Um, so the concern is, is there a duplication of the processes that are involved? Um, the cost in terms of capacity that may result because of the duplication processes. Timelines in implementation, because we know that these are processes that are all engaged and time is a factor. So they are necessary, yes, but uh, these are some of the concerns. Um, are the areas not covered in existing assessment that then needs to be included? Are there areas that are not covered in existing assessment that then, therefore then needs to be included? So even as we review this, we need to um, interrogate and find out if there are any areas that, or gaps that exist that we need to include in this process. And the justification for that is because this is a project of uh, uh, a larger magnitude, and so the, the strategic environmental assessment is definitely going to apply. In terms of the objectives, uh, one of them is uh, the economic gains. Uh, looking at uh, the, the resources that are pumped into, um, into the uh, controlling of malaria with the existing technologies, uh, the use of uh, uh, gene drive, uh, mosquitoes is going to change that. And of course, it's going to, it comes at, um, at, a, at a cheaper, it, 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 is, it is more, I would say it's a, it's a game changer compared to the other uh, strategies that we are currently using. Because uh, these uh, strategies are not as uh, uh, friendly to the environment as well as the human and animal health. And the other objective for this will be capacity building.